Thanks for watching my YouTube channel Blue Dough. I'm Chef Sui. Today I'm gonna show you how to make the pasta dough and tagliatelle pasta. Actually, there are thousands and thousands of different recipes to make the pasta dough, and I used many types of um, semola and flour back in Melbourne and Sydney. But I think it doesn't really matter which ingredient you use, it's really up to you. So I have chosen just all purpose flour you can buy in a local shop. So here are all the ingredients 200 grams of the wheat flour, 2 eggs, extra virgin olive oil, about a few drops, and just a pinch of the salt, and only pay 1 and 20 cent for this flour. And you got to prepare pasta machine, paring knife, and pasta tool. Firstly, what I'm gonna do is to set pasta machine on my working table. Put anchors in the hole of the pasta machine and screw it until the machine gets tight. Secondly, set tagonetelli attachment onto your machine. Thirdly, set roller into your pasta and check whether it works nicely. And attachment too. Firstly, I'm going to measure 200 grams of the multipurpose flour and make the world with my hands inside the flour and start cracking two eggs. Once you've done that, put other ingredients, three pinch of the salt and drop just a few of the virgin extra olive oil in the middle of the wall. Then we're gonna start working pasta dough. Start mixing all the ingredients in the middle of the wall with the surrounding world's flowers. I took out the mixture from the plate because it is a bit small to work out. Okay, transfer mixture to working surface and keep going. Right, it is much easier to work out the pasta dough than now it's time to knead the dough. This takes about 5 to 7 minutes and once your dough start combining together, make sure scratch all flowers that spread out on the table and clean your work surface which is very important. So here is Bluto's tip of how to check the pasta dough is ready or not. When you touch it, pasta dough should have a resistance. Like you see this, where the part that finger push it should come back slowly. That means your dough is ready. After you are kneading the dough, wrap it and keep it in refrigerator till gluten of the pasta dough becomes set. It takes half an hour. Ooh, time's flying. Half an hour is gone already. Cut half of your pasta dough and prepare to roll pasta. The pasta machines I use is a home cooking one, so cut it half, then it will fit nicely. It is very important to flour all your working surface and to your pasta machines. Then stretch your pasta dough so that it fit into your pasta machine. You need some arm work in this stage. Here I start to roll out the pasta dough. You need to do this with the stages. I go with the setting 6 first. And when pasta comes out, fold pasta each side and turn the other side so the pasta perfectly fit in the machine. And sprinkle a pinch of the flour, then it won't stick, so you can roll pasta much much easier. Go with setting 6 again. Setting 5. Setting 4. Lastly, roll twice on 2. Cut both edge of the pasta sheet and divide it as two.
Okay, set your pasta roller and let's to make a targeted telly. Put your half of the pasta sheet into an attachment of the targeted telly and start rolling. Once pasta comes out, grab it with the other hands and organize noodles. I prefer to roll it. For the other sheet, do the same way, but make sure to sprinkle enough flour so that pasta do not stick. That's it. So, this is tagliatelle pasta. Easy, simple, and tender, and really sophisticated. Okay, thanks for watching and subscribe. Bye bye.